headed to a press conference where they're going to announce me as the head coach of the Washington Capitals. Exciting time, uh, not much sleep last night, uh, pretty excited. A lot of time and effort and sacrifice went into what's about to happen today and I've tried to put my work in and try to prepare myself for this situation, but um, I guess until you really go through it, uh, uh, it's not the same. So today is it's a really exciting day and I think most people will talk to me initially about how did it feel to raise the Stanley Cup and then they're gonna come with the next one, how are you gonna repeat? What are you going to do to get this team to repeat? How are you going to motivate them? And what's what's your plan moving forward? Um, you know, just like our, our players got a, a taste of of success, you know, so have our fans, and they loved it. And now that they've had a taste of it, it's uh, something that they want to drink again, so to speak. Morning. Pretty seamless transition. That's what I'm talking about. Not very far. Not very far away. When you had to talk to the head coach when I was a player, it was not a good thing. I think with improving players today, is it's a partnership. And once you let them know that you're all in for making them better, you're having a discussion. Um, the days of thinking that it's a bad thing to go in and meet with your head coach, those days are done now. Um, now you've got to have good relationships. They've got to trust you. You've got to be able to have difficult conversations with them, good conversations with them. And it's one of my favorite parts is finding out what exact um, way can help make the players better, and that's uh, uh, the fun part. The evolution this summer not limited to players on the roster. The coaching staff continues to evolve as well. With that in mind, please welcome Senior Vice President and General Manager Brian McClellan. Obviously, we're here to officially name Todd Reardon as our new head coach. We feel fortunate as an organization, and I feel fortunate as a manager that we have an internal candidate of uh, Todd's quality, um, that he's ready to step in to build on what we've accomplished last season, and I would anticipate a seamless transition. I, I sit in front of you today and, and truly tell you it's an honor and a privilege to be the Washington Capitals head coach. I would like to thank Barry Trotz four years ago for bringing me into this organization, making me a part of his staff, bringing me to Washington, and making me fall in love with this area. Lastly, I'd like to thank our fans. Uh, our fans have just really went to a completely different level this year. They've been through some disappointment in the past, but they never quit on us. They never quit on us, and in turn, they were able to be a part of an amazing experience this, this summer in raising that Stanley Cup and I truly believe we would not have accomplished that without them, so thank you. TJ Oshie now has the city thinking back to back. What are your expectations and how do you get this team back to the Stanley Cup final? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a unique challenge. Um, it's a unique situation that we're in here and um, something I feel very confident about um, moving forward is uh, uh, you know, just, just the number of people that are returning to our roster. Um, you know, players that I've already established relationships with and, um, you know, continuing to, to grow their games and grow our team's game moving forward. Uh, it's, uh, it's just an amazing um, opportunity that is in front, of, in front of me and I'm, I'm truly honored and privileged to be uh, the Washington Capitals' next uh, head coach.